Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So we were looking the current uses of hexadecimal numbers in computing. We have covered four of the uses and this is the fifth one, right? Assembly code and machine code. So in this video, we are going to see that how the hexadecimal notation or numbers are being used in writing assembly code or a machine code, right? So first of all, let me tell you the reason behind it. Why we are using hexadecimal numbers in assembly code or a machine code. This machine code is basically in the form of hexadecimal number, right? So the reason is pretty simple. Why? Because of its convenience. Because we are probably going to make lesser mistakes when we write a code or write a program in hexadecimal numbers as compared to binary one. Why? Because we know that binary language is comprised of zeros and ones. So if we need to write a code in the form of zeros and ones, then it is probably going to be difficult. We can make mistakes being a human, right? We can make mistakes. We can write zero as one or one as zero, right? So in order to reduce uh, the probability of our errors and to make the code uh, compact, right? We are going to use it. Uh, we are going to use hexadecimal notations in assembly code or in a machine code. For example, let me give an example to you so that it will be clear uh, what I am saying or I am trying to uh, give you uh, the understanding of, right? So, let's suppose I have an accumulator. What is an accumulator? Accumulator is a kind of register, right? So, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's suppose I have a 16-bit accumulator, right? And I want to write a program in which I am trying to store some kind of binary data into this accumulator, right? So, how I am going to do it using assembly code or a machine code. Let's see that. Okay, so let me write assembly code first. Uh, okay, in order to store some value into this register, let me write assembly code for it. Right? So let's compare the three codes. I am writing assembly code, then machine code. That is an hexadecimal right and then finally the binary code or the machine code in binary in the binary form right let's compare the three codes for doing the same work okay i have an instruction s t o f f a4 what is this instruction? This STO is basically a mnemonic that is used in an assembly code in order to store a value in an accumulator, right? So this is STO, a keyword, and this is FFA4. That is basically a value. It's a four-bit hexadecimal number, right? Sorry, for four-digit hexadecimal number. So this four-digit hexadecimal number will be equal to 4 into 4, 16 bit binary data, right? How? Because each hexadecimal needs 4 bits to represent in binary, right? So for these 4 hexadecimal digits, we need to have 4, uh, 4 into 4, 16 binary bits. Okay, so this is the assembly code in which we are saving the value FFA4 into accumulator by using this mnemonic, right? So, what would be the machine code? Let's suppose this STO in machine code using a hexadecimal value would be written as A5E4. 
let's suppose this is going to be a sample as a5 e4 and then this will be the same ff a4 this is basically the function of an assembler that is going to convert this assembly code into a machine code right so sto is going to be written as a5 e4 let's suppose right in form of hexadecimal number then how many digits these are basically 4 into 4 16 here we have 16 hexadecimal digits so this machine code of hexadecimal number is of 16 hexadecimal digits right and if we are going to write this particular code in binary form then how we are going to do that 16 hexadecimal digits would going to have how many binary bits can you tell me oh sorry 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 i made a mistake over here these are not 16 these are 8 sorry okay so can these 8 bits um in form of binary they are going to be represented 8 into 4 that would be 32 bits we need 32 bits to represent this in a binary code right so it would be I am just going to convert it that is 1010101 then this would be 1110100. I am just converting this individual hexadecimal digit into its particular binary form right so you can use the conversion table as well for this if you don't know the conversion or you can you you can also see my video of conversion for this right so this will be 010044 right so these are the 32 bits this is the 32 bit code that is used to transfer this 16 bits into this accumulator right so can you find the difference between these particular codes what is the difference the difference is of number of bits number of digits right the length of the code right the binary code is always lengthy why because it is having zeros and ones only because of these two digits our code becomes lengthy and when these digits are going to be represented in the form of hexadecimal then of course they are going to be reduced why because four bits are going to be represented by one hexadecimal digit so it will definitely be compact or compressed so this is how a binary code can be reduced uh, in form of hexadecimal code or by using hexadecimal numbers in a machine code or an assembly code right so this is the reason of using hexadecimal numbers in a machine code or an assembly code why because it reduces your number of digits or your length of the code right so this is all about this video in this video we have seen that how we are using hexadecimal numbers right and assembly code or in a machine code and i have also shared the reason of it why because of its complexity because of the complexity of the code when it is written in a binary so in order to reduce your errors how you're reducing your errors you are reducing all your errors by converting it to converting it into hexadecimal numbers because you know that zeros and ones and a code to be written in the form of this would definitely be going to have probability of errors right you may write a one as a zero or zero as a one right so you need to have some better option to write a code being a programmer right so instead of binary we have a better option that is a machine code in hexadecimal or an assembly code in order to write your programs where you can reduce your errors right 
so thank you so much for watching this video and i haven't seen a past paper example for this topic so i am just winding it up here so thank you so much for watching it please like share subscribe the channel and share it with your other friends as well so that we can all um study in a friendly environment or with we can help each other right so thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video where i am going to tell you another use of hexadecimal number and that is none other than error codes right thank you so much so see you in the next video take care for them